In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the embroidery onto clothing kits. For the actual stitches themselves, do refer to the individual flower videos, which talk you through the stitching. So here, what we're specifically going to focus on is how to use the patches that go within the kit. So your kit contains all the same materials that you need as are shown in the individual flower videos. For example, here, the carnations. But if you are stitching onto clothing, rather than having a piece of fabric to stitch, you're going to have these soluble patches that you're going to use. So your plan is exactly the same. You're going to use the same bobbins of thread, but in here, instead, you've got these patches. So you've got your needles there, and then you're going to have four individual flowers, four different arrangements, four different ways of writing the text to give you maximum variation of how you choose to stitch your design. Right, so first up is the garment you're going to need. So when you're stitching onto clothing, what you want is something with no stretch. Stretch makes things a lot harder. And therefore what I'm stitching on here is just a cotton shirt. But cotton, linen, um, denim, twills, you know, all these sorts of fabrics, canvases, which are have a rigid structure, work really well for embroidering onto. But when you do embroider onto clothing, you really do need to use a hoop. Now I'm going to show you stitching in one of the more complicated areas, which here I'm going to show you over the pocket. Because it's really nice with these flowers, often on shirts, to show them almost coming out of the pocket. But if you're stitching onto your clothing, first things first, your hoop. Now if it's something like this, a heavily patterned top, I wouldn't worry about going straight in with my hoop. But if I'm stitching on something like a white shirt, there is a risk that the hoop itself will leave marks. In which case, I would always choose to wrap the hoop. So I will show you how to do that. But first, let me just show you how to position the hoop if your shirt has a pocket. So if you're stitching with a pocket, the main thing that makes it hard is you need to make sure you're not going to stitch through both and close up. So you see when I put the hoop on, as I stitch, I need to have enough of the pocket exposed in order to be able to access it so I can stitch only inside the pocket. So let me just show you wrapping a hoop. So I've got a long strip of the scrap fabric here and that's just gonna help soften how the hoop interacts with the fabric. So I'm just kind of wrapping under for these first couple of pieces and then I just slow wrap myself round the hoop, wrapping that strip of fabric the entire way round you'll see here, so when I get to the end, I just put a couple of stitches in to hold it in place, but then I've got my hoop wrapped. Now, here, if you're being really particular, and as I did on my wedding dress, I'd also wrap the inner hoop too. So I'm going to get my first patch that I want to stitch on, and they all fit within this six-inch hoop. So I want to stitch this flower so it's almost coming out of the pocket. So I'm going to cut it out away from the sheet first and foremost. So I just get myself down to a smaller patch. Then I peel away the backing and I position it onto the shirt. So I'm folding it inside the pocket. Now I'm going to take the wording. I'd like to stitch this onto my shirt as well. I'm going to put that actually on the pocket. So you see I'm placing that there. And so once those are in, all you're going to do is just stitch it like you normally would, stitching through both and follow the individual stitch videos to explain how to do this. You're going to keep going until you have your full design done. So once you're fully finished with the entire design, remove the hoop, and then you see you've just got this membrane there. And so this is where the beauty of the process comes in. I get myself a tub of lukewarm water, and then put the shirt into it. Let it soak let it soak for a while and that will all absorb. You might want to change the water a couple of times if you find your water is getting very cloudy, but all you're going to do is soak it, give it some time, you don't need to rub it, give it some time, then air dry it flat and give it an iron. And when you iron it the first time, you might want to stretch it out a bit, but that's it. That's as simple as it is. Whether you're framing them or on your clothing, enjoy these kits.